Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 45100CNB Clear Anodized Garage or Overhead Door Weather Strip Nylon Brush Insert. So, this weather strip you can see is a bit unusual in terms of seeing it every day, but this angle that it has allows it to be ideally suited for installation on the jam of an overhead door or on the jams of an overhead door so you'll have your application where your jam is going to be here and the weather seal goes back to the face of the door and it actually would be seen this way if you were on the exterior. Okay, I'm going to rotate it so you can get a better perspective. So this is the jam with the flat end here. This is the flat end of the jam. Okay. And your door is going to be in here. Riding up against that. You could also do it at the header. Okay. That's what typically this 45100 is for. The 45100 is representative of the profile with the angle and the nylon bristle. The C part of the part number means that the extrusion is in clear anodized finish and the NB is for nylon bristle. This is available in dark bronze and gold as well and is typical for those applications. I've had people even install these on the bottom of doors because they had an unusual floor condition where they knew the door was going to seal up against a, a, a gradual beveled edge of a threshold and they didn't want to have um, anything other than a situation that the seal was going to press up against like this okay so that when the door opened it would not in, um, encounter a lot of resistance of bristles being dragged over something it should seal up against and as soon as the door opened it kind of just went back in the uh, direction of opening um, but overhead doors is where you'll see angle material like this very commonly. Includes screws and a complementary finish. They're number six by five eighths. Okay. Available in several different lengths. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is, is if you had to take this four foot piece, let's say cut it down to 44 inch, well, you'd eliminate that countersink there, then the next one's here. You'd be stuck drilling another hole, and it's hard to drill a slotted hole naturally. And that slotted hole from the factory is nice to have there because it gives you that ever so critical amount of lateral, you know, you know, adjustment for level, lateral adjustment, you know, as well as if you've got it installed on a frame. And it also helps compensate for a misdrilled hole. If you're drilling into wood or steel or aluminum or fiberglass, the drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit if you've not used a center punch, and that slotted hole helps compensate for that as well. Dimensionally, uh, there's an image below this video showing everything important about it. <clears throat> you can see that the dimension from the bottom of the extrusion to the bottom of the bristles is 11 16 and that does indeed seem to be the case. And you've got an overall height of your extrusion at 15 16 and I'd say that that would be accurate as well. And then you've got a three inch, inch projection from the back side of the aluminum extrusion to the front and then a one inch length on the bristles. Pemco is a full line manufacturer of all things commercial weather stripping related. Not only uh, odd or less common gasketing like this, but your typical gasketing, uh, perimeter gasketing, thresholds, um, door bottoms, material made of aluminum like this, stainless steel based material, architectural bronze or brass based material, and then a full line of residential weather stripping as well. If you have any uh, questions on the PEMCO 45100 CNB angle type garage or overhead door weather stripping or any other PEMCO product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.